In 2007, the YouTube landscape was still in its infancy. There was no lighting, there was no editing. People were just uploading videos of their cats. There was a handful of makeup tutorials, but I just wanted to bring something different to the table. Hello, I'm Michelle Fawn, and I'm a creator. I first got started on YouTube freshman year of college, 2007. I just opened up my laptop, turned on my webcam, and I started filming these makeup tutorials for a fresh-looking face. What I brought to the table was a sense of structure, a sense of style, and that didn't really exist back then. I'm a hardcore Adobe user. I've been using Adobe since I was a teenager. The editing process is so easy. I can just throw everything in and not really have to think about it. I'm not good at like being super technical. I want something that can just do it for me and just make my life easier. The content that I was making was essentially something I wanted to watch that I couldn't find on YouTube. I was always challenging myself and it just became this never ending pursuit of just getting better. I actually looked forward to editing. I would just put my headphones on and be completely immersed in this world. That mood inspires me, and it is also very meditative for me. Over the years, as my channel grew, it just made sense to grow my own team. Once you get to that level, you can really just have fun and really push the limit. And that's what I did. I like to put myself in the shoes of the audience. I like to just capture things that they would want to see. I also want to be as personable as possible. So if I make mistakes or anything, I, I'll keep it in there. It's totally fine. Because it shows there's this human side. It's OK to make mistakes. Oh, I put eyeliner in my eyeball. <laughs> no. It's kind of edgy. So I like the idea of treating my vlog as an online diary. So just look lovingly at the camera for a while, like give me 10 seconds. I mostly kind of delegate now, I'm not so hands-on. I would say the only time I'm actually still hands-on is the editing process, because I find that's the most fun. With Premiere, it was also really easy for me to do any color correcting, because with beauty, coloring is so important, because people want to be able to touch it and feel it through the screen, and that's something that I've always wanted to emphasize. It's so important to have fun with everything you're making. I love this, it's so Sailor Moon. To have fun with the people that you're working with. To have fun with your passion, your creativity. Because once it becomes an obligation, people can see that. Sometimes I know like people 10 years into their career, maybe they're just tired of it, right? They want to switch, they want to do something else, but I still look forward to editing. I'm very passionate about it. It's probably one of the things that I still to this day enjoy. It is my therapy. If it wasn't for a creative cloud, I don't think I'd be here. I feel like I can really create anything with it. And in a way I did with everything that I've created up to this point, my businesses, my content, my career. I love this. Bye everyone. Thank you for watching.